The Yajnavakya Smriti IAST, Yajnavakya Smriti is one of the many Dharma-related texts of Hinduism composed in Sanskrit. It is dated to between the 3rd to 5th century CE, and belongs to the Dharmasastras tradition. The text was composed after the Manumriti, but like it in Naradamriti, the text was composed in sloka poetic meter style. The legal theories within the Yajnavakya Smriti are presented in three books, namely Achara Kanda customs, Vyavahara Kanda judicial process, and Prayaschita Kanda crime and punishment, penance. The text is the best composed and systematic specimen of this genre, with large sections on judicial process theories, one which had greater influence in medieval India's judiciary practice than Manumriti. It later became influential in the studies of legal process in ancient and medieval India, during the colonial British India, with the first translation published in German in 1849. The text is notable for its differences in legal theories from Manumriti, for being more liberal and humane, and for extensive discussions on evidence and judiciousness of legal documents. <laughs> Date The text most likely dates to the Gupta period, between roughly the 3rd and 5th centuries of the Common Era. There is some debate as to whether it is to be placed in the earlier or later part of that time span. Patrick Olivelle suggests the likely date may be in the 4th to 5th century CE. Arguments for particular dating are based on the concise, sophisticated vocabulary found throughout the text and on the use of certain terms such as nanaka a coin, and references to Greek astrology, which has been known in India since the 2nd century. See Yuvanajataka. The argument arises when considerations are made as to who was exchanging the nanaka and when the level of Greek thought which the author understood is brought into question. Author The text is named after the revered Vedic sage Yajnavakya who appears in many major Upanishads of Hinduism as well as other influential texts such as the Yoga Yajnavakya. However, the text was composed more than a millennium after his life, it was attributed to him because the text is a smriti. A smriti is a form of knowledge that is passed from one generation to other orally. Rishi Yajnavakya had formed all these ideas and had then passed it down the line. That is why the text has been attributed to him. The text was likely composed in the Mathila region of historic India in and around modern Bihar. Topic: <laughs> Structure. The text is in classical Sanskrit and is organized in 3 books. These are Achara Kanda 368 verses, Vyavahara Kanda 307 verses, and Prayaschita Kanda 335 verses. The Yajnavakya Smriti consists of a cumulative total of 1010 slokas verses, and its presentation is methodical, clear and concise instead of the poetic literary beauty. Found in Manumriti according to Robert Lingott, Ludo Rocher states that this treatise, like others in Dharmasastra's genre, is a scholarly tradition on Dharma rather than a law book, as understood in the Western languages. In contrast, Robert Lingott states that the text is closer to presenting legal philosophy and a transition from being Dharma speculations found in earlier Dharma-related texts. <laughs> Content The text is laid out as a frame story in which the sages of Mithila approach Yajnavakya and ask him to teach them Dharma. The text opens its reply by everentially mentioning ancient Dharma scholars, and asserting in verses 1. 4 to 5 that the following each have written a Dharmasastra most of these are lost to history Manu, Atri, Visnu, Harita, Yajnavakya, Yushanas, Angiris, Yama, Apastamba, Samvarta, Katyayana, Brihaspati, Parasara, Vyasa, Samka, Likita, Daksha, Gautama, Shatatapa and Vashistha. The rest of the text is Yajnavakya's theories on Dharma, presented under Akara proper conduct, Vyavahara criminal law, and Prayaschita expiation. The Yajnavakya Smriti extensively quotes the Manu Smriti and other Dharma texts, sometimes directly paraphrasing passages from these, often reducing earlier views into a compendium and offering an alternate legal theory. There are influential differences from the Manu Smriti and earlier Dharma texts, especially with regard to statecraft, the primary of attested documentary evidence in legal process, and in jurisprudence. 1 pioneered the structure which was adopted in future Dharmasastric discourse. 
a divided dharma into fairly equally weighted categories of akara proper conduct vyavahara legal procedure prayaschita penance b subdivided these three further by specific topics within the major subject heading point 2 documentary evidence as the highest foundation of legal procedure Yajñavakya portrayed evidence as hierarchical, with attested documents receiving the highest consideration, followed by witnesses, and finally ordeals five types of verifiable testimony point three. Restructured the courts Yajñavakya distinguished between courts appointed by the king and those which were formed by communities of intermediate groups. He then portrayed these courts as a part of a system of hierarchical appeals point four. Changed the placement of the discussion of ascetic orders Forest hermits and renouncers are discussed within the section regarding penance In previous texts, description of ascetics followed the discussion of Brahmins and framed them in opposition to householder Brahmins. The placement of ascetic orders within penance remained in subsequent texts following the general acceptance of the Yajñavakya Smriti.5. Focused on moksha Increased attention was given to a description of moksha, dwelling on meditation and the transience of the worldly body. There is even an in-depth, technical discourse based on a medical treatise of the time. Topic. Commentary Five medieval-era basia review and commentaries on Yajnavakya SMRTI have survived into the modern era. These are by Visvarupa Balakrita, 750-1000 CE, Vijainsvara Matakṣara, 11th or 12th century, most studied, from the Varanasi school, Aparārka Aparārka Nibanda, 12th century, from the Kashmir school, Sulapani Deepakalika, 14th or 15th century and Mitramisra Viramitradaya, 17th century. Influence <inaudible> 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 The legal theories in this text were likely very influential in medieval India, because its passages and quotes are found inscribed in every part of India, and these inscriptions are dated to be from around 10th to 11th century CE. The text is also widely commented upon, and referenced in popular works such as the 5th century Panchatantra. The text is profusely quoted in chapters 253-258 of the extant manuscripts of the Agni Purana, and in chapters 93-106 of the Garuda Purana. Notes References Bibliography <references> 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 Mandagod Rama Joyce Legal and Constitutional History of India, Ancient Legal, Judicial, and Constitutional System. Universal Law Publishing. ISBN 978-81-7534-206-4. Robert Lingett The Classical Law of India translated by J. Duncan M. Derrett. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-01898-3. Timothy Lubin, Donald R. Davis Jr., Jayunt K. Krishnan 2010. Hinduism and Law, An Introduction. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-139-49358-1. John Main A Treatise on Hindu Law and Usage. Stevens and Haynes, London reprinted by Mutilal Banarsidass. OCLC 561,697,663. Patrick Olivelle 2006. Between the Empires, Society in India 300 BCE to 400 CE. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-977507-1. Patrick Olivelle 1999. Dharmasutras, The Law Codes of Ancient India. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-283882-7. Patrick Olivelle 2005. Manu's Code of Law. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-517146-4. Ludo Rocher 2014. Studies in Hindu Law and Dharmasastra. Anthem Press. ISBN 978-1-78308-315-2. Winternitz, Maurice 
History of Indian Literature. Mutilal Banarsidas Publ. ISBN 81-208-0056-7. Nath Dutt, Manmata Yajnavakyasmurti, Sanskrit text, English translation, notes, introduction and index of verses. New Delhi, Paramal Publications. ISBN 81-7110-273-5. External links Yajnavakya Smriti with Vijnansvara Commentary, Book 1 of 3 SC Vidyarnava English translation Yajnavakya Smriti with Vijnansvara Commentary Sanskrit manuscript